How's that PI business? I don't know. I get tired of cheating spouses, but it's bread and butter, so I'm not going to complain today. <laughs> you need a co-worker? I know. You're looking for a job. I wish. I wish we could afford to hire you, but we can't. How's the job hunting going anyway? Frustrating. You know, I've gotten close on a few things, but still nothing. That's okay. You're, you're good. Anyone would be lucky to have you. Thank you for that vote of confidence. And I'm sure Michael tells you that all the time anyway. Yeah, he is really supportive, you know. How is Michael, by the way? What do you mean? You should know better than I do. No, I, no. I haven't seen him. What? What are you talking about? What happened? I was trying to keep Michael out of the mob and away from the cigars. Oh, gracious greetings. You've been out all night. Yeah, I've been busy. As have I. Uh, could I offer you a caffeinated beverage? I have a pot of jasmine green tea brewing. H how do you drink that stuff? Well, it's a, it's a tonic. Full of polyphenols and catechins, which of course can vary due to cultivation. Whoa, what, what is this? Oh, it's... Streaming video of uh, footage from jackal security cameras of uh, Mr. Sir's business rivals. Uh, simple, but dare I say brilliant. But also, uh, in the wee hours of the morning, quite disturbing. It appears the, the, the cars have effectively framed Stone Cold for burning down one of their warehouses. I wasn't framed. Not to pry, but couldn't you have told Michael you didn't want him in the business without breaking up with him? I said I didn't want to date a mobster. Somehow, it turned into an ultimatum. Next thing I knew, Michael was walking out the door. You miss him. Yes, since the moment he left. I'm sure he's devastated. I was honest. You know, if Michael joins the mob, he will close off all his options. And I really believe that a time will come when he will be sorry that he didn't make a different choice for his life. Okay, that's reasonable. I mean, that's how I feel, okay, but... I don't want to be another person who polices Michael's behavior. I mean, he has enough pressure with Sonny and Jason. No offense to Jason. No, please, none taken. Sonny and Jason are very blunt with Michael. I want to be his safe place he goes to. The person he trusts, you know, who listens and doesn't make judgments. I mean, who am I to give career advice anyway? Have you tried the Metro Court? I mean, I'm sure Carly could probably be oh, your job Oh, Sam, there. I can't take help from Michael's family. I don't think you should be too proud to beg. We're in a tough spot. I know, it just feels like if I take a job from them that it'd be like I'm being paid to see Michael and I want to be with him at my own free will. Stone Cold, you are a man of stealth. The, the burning of a rival's warehouse seems uncharacteristically flamboyant. That's you know, the only language Anthony understands. Shrewd observation. Anthony has no scruples, knows no boundaries. I mean. Who can anticipate the moves of a man who would kill an assassin and leave her body in the office of his rival? But, I mean, yet, yet knowing these risks, why would you antagonize him? Well, Anthony has his own agenda. And you know he's got a temper, so I'm hoping this burned warehouse really pisses him off and he strikes back. And when Johnny realizes the cost of war is too high, he'll shut his father down. Oh, this stuff tastes like water with grass. An apt description of jasmine green tea. I need a video feed like this, Spinelli, at every one of our properties. It's precisely what the Jack was incorporating into the cyber street. Because Anthony's going to be coming back at us, and I want to turn it around and ambush him. Well, I will increase surveillance at all key points so we can anticipate his every move. Good. Stone Cold, you are the quintessential man of action. But do you ever worry that you know you'll freeze in the moment? Never really thought about it. I guess nothing shakes your composure. I mean, maybe that's why I'm still here. I just wish that my demeanor was as steadfast, but in, in emergencies, I just fall to pieces. Yeah, but you, you can't be too hard on yourself. Okay, well, the other night at at Jake's, Maximista choked on an unfortunate morsel, and I'm ashamed to admit that I... I froze. I, I, I panicked. Maximista could have expired before my very eyes if... Suavely confident Dr. Hunter hadn't stepped in and performed the Heimlich maneuver. For, forget Dr. Hunter, okay? You have you have other strengths. Yeah, but computer skills are hardly yeah, manly. You, you're one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. What? 
I have, I have to go. She's in the greatest of danger. Hi. Hi, Cole. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. I gotta go. I gotta go to work. Sit down. Please have my seat. My coffee's fresh. Yeah, I know I understand, Mrs. Husker. It's very disappointing. Yeah, okay, listen, if you need someone from our office to testify, uh, we would we would do that. It would just be an extra charge. Okay, yeah, you don't you don't have to decide that right now. You just uh, you call me when you know, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Hey. Hey, what's um, going on? I need you to talk to Mom. About? Ethan. I Ethan. explained to her that um, he's a great guy, and then I'm Ooh. mature enough to no, 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 be no, no, in a relationship No, 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 no hold him. on, wait a minute. The last time I checked, Ethan was married. It's over. I cheated on him. Okay, and did he tell you that? We've been spending a lot of time together. Ethan's been struggling ever since Luke's self-destruction over Jake's death. And, you know, everyone's worried about Lucky and Lulu, which is fine, but Ethan kind of got left out. He needs someone to confide in, and Maya bailed. And you are there to fill in the gap. Don't say it like that. Ethan and I understand each other. Uh, uh, what, do you, what part of understand each other do you mean? Or, or is it more that you have a major crush on Ethan? Ugh, you sound like mom. Or worse, like dad. I thought you were on my side. I am on your side, Chrissy. I really am. And, and listen, I understand what it's like to be attracted to someone and to think someone's really great and want to be more than just friends. But you gotta listen to me, okay? And, and listen to me really clear. It is a really, really bad idea to get involved with a married man. And until those, those divorce papers are signed and the ink is dried, you cannot believe a word that he says. Jason. Yeah. Do you know anything about this? It's an acceptance letter to PCU. No, I didn't, I didn't even know you. Uh, I didn't know you applied. I didn't. I thought that maybe Abby did, but she said no. That must mean that my mom did it. Well, it sounds like something your mom would do. I don't know. You know, she probably bribed the admissions office into taking me. What? Would she have to do that? Well, I me, mean, yeah, I got good grades, better than most, and I. Pretty much nailed the SATs. Okay, so you got in on your own merit. Yeah, except for the part where I never actually filled out an application. Well, the only reason to take the SATs is so the colleges can see your scores, right? I mean, it was smart for you to leave that door open. Christina talked me into it as one of those what-the-hell decisions. It didn't translate into me applying for PCU. Hey, you know what? However it happened, you're in. Well, Jason, I'm not going to go. Okay. If you're still considering working for Johnny... You need to know that he's at war with us. Anthony's people hit one of our shipments last night. I retaliated by burning down one of their warehouses. Okay, well, that should be the end of it then. No, things are only going to get worse from here. Okay, then why did you retaliate by burning one of the warehouses? <sighs> Anthony has an advantage. There are no lines that guy won't cross. I have to push Johnny into shutting his father down. And you don't want me in the middle. You work for Johnny, you become a hostage. You know, convenient how it worked, considering you don't want me anywhere near the business. Well, you got a chance of doing something better now. About well, four more years of class? It's kind of hard to work up a lot of excitement, Jason. Yeah, but what you want now may be different in a couple of years, Michael. Well, what about you? I'm sure the Quartermains fell all over themselves to get you into college after your accident, right? But you didn't go. No, the Quartermains actually thought I was too damaged to go to college. They wanted to send me to some remedial learning place. So you went to Dad instead because he treated you with respect? Yeah, but you're not, you're not me. You got to figure out what works for you. No, what does it matter if no one will let me do it anyways? Whatever happened with Taylor? He was a really nice guy. Why aren't you still with Lucky? What? Where's that coming from? But you guys dated for over a year. Yeah. Lucky's nice. Uh-huh. Why aren't you still with him? Because Lucky and I figured out that we are better off as friends. Because you had your heart set on Jason. No, because I am okay with being alone. Why can't you just admit that Jason is it for you? He accepts you, you understand him, and the, the two of you complete each other. Are you, are you reading Molly's romance novels again? 
Just say it. Just say that you love Jason and that your life makes sense because he's in it. He's no, in your life. No, no. Yes. My life makes sense because of me. Because I like the way that I live and I am confident in myself, Chrissy. Jason just happens to be the guy that fills my heart up with love. I'm lucky. Thank you. Finally. Yes. No, no, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't think that you're going to find this with Ethan, like, off the bat. You don't even know who you are yet. If you're trying to convince me not to love Ethan, don't waste your breath, because I do, and you can't change my mind. Yeah, obviously. Any more than someone could change your mind about Jason. And don't say it's because you're older than me. What I feel for Ethan is real, and I know it. Okay. Fine. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna do whatever it is that you're gonna do, and you're gonna go get your heart broken, and then you're gonna have to realize. Okay, Ethan is getting divorced. I swear. Chrissy, Ethan may not feel the way that you do. You can love someone, but it doesn't mean they're gonna love you back. Spinelli's come up with this uh, streaming video program of all our warehouses. So I want that monitored 24-7 because I know that Anthony's going to retaliate, so just get it done for me, okay? Thanks. Why, why are you smiling? Nothing. It's just good to see you all fired up taking action. Yeah, well, this, this thing with this car is heating up, so... Anything I can do to help? Um... You can be careful. Mm -hmm. I don't want Anthony to use you to get to me. Why are you smiling what? again? Because it's not that I think it's good that there's problems between the cigars or anything that's not, but you've been in a really bad place and it's nice to see you back at work. Well, Anthony's coming at us any way he can, so I gotta, I gotta deal with it. And you should. I mean, do what you do best. Michael got into PCU. Whoa, I had no idea he applied. No, uh, he didn't. I'm guessing Carly must have done a full. Well, is he gonna go? Uh, he says no, but I get the sense that he might be thinking about it. What about working for Johnny's car? Well, that's actually the, the one good thing that's come out of this Anthony blow-up, is that if we're at war with the Zakaras, Michael's a pawn, and I, I think he finally understands that. That's good. Yeah. I mean, that's really good. You must be relieved. And I think the timing is really good, too, because I was at Kelly's with Abby, and we were talking about Michael and how they had just broken up. B but Michael had walked in, and Abby and Michael looked at each other, and it was like there was no one else in the room, and I had to make up some lame excuse to leave, and I did, and I think they're probably working things out as we speak. Well, this might be a turning point for Michael. Yeah. What about you? Have you decided if you were going to quit or not? I can't. There's too many things I got to take care of first. <laughs>